Hi all, and thanks for tuning in to my final market snapshot to round out the year, and let's get straight into it. The Perth property market has continued to show positive signs heading into the last quarter of the year. From a sales perspective, Perth recorded its fourth consecutive month of growth for dwelling values, increasing by another 1.1%. Across Perth, almost 60% of all suburbs have experienced stable or increased medium home price growth. There were 9,599 properties sold during the latest quarter, which is 21% more than the June quarter. Further to this, there were 10,540 properties for sale at the end of quarter three, which was significantly lower than this time last year, with a decrease of 21%. What we can take away from this data is that supply has dropped, demand has increased, and that's where price growth does take place. Time on market has also improved for our sellers dramatically, with an average being recorded of only 28 days compared to 74 days this time last year. From a rental perspective, the vacancy rate remains very low at 0.9%. There were 2,914 properties for rent at the end of quarter three, which is 53% lower than this time last year. And as we know, demand is strong. We have increases to rents, but the larger increases can be expected around March, April next year, when government restrictions are expected to ease. From a national level, Western Australia recorded the strongest growth of any state around the country with a 1.4% increase, which is very encouraging. The number one question I'm getting asked from friends and clients at the moment is which are the hot pockets to get into? My answer is honestly, everywhere. All parts of the market are performing very well at present and you do need to act quick to secure the right property. Whilst many experts predicted COVID-19 would have a significant negative impact on the market in WA, things have picked up and are back on track to where they were prior to the pandemic. Thanks for tuning in with me in 2020. Have a great holiday period and see you all in 2021.